This is a map of San Antonio's flood control plan. They have ditches all the way through the city that allow drainage of water during rain. You've seen the ditches around your houses. You've probably uh, walked down them before. You've crossed them over bridges. Um, here's Zachary. And these are some ditches that are very close. The dotted lines show some of the drainage ditches. And water goes this way. It goes from the top of the screen down toward the bottom. Now, this is part of the Leon Creek watershed. All the water, all the rain that falls anywhere on this picture will all end up draining into this little creek here. And it will keep going until it gets into the Leon Creek green, uh, green belt there. So. If you were to point to, I don't know if any of you live at this place, I just picked randomly, but if you picked letter A, if you put it pointed to a house here at letter A, and somebody at that house was pouring oil after they changed their car, somebody at letter A pours oil on the, onto the ground, okay? Or somebody at letter A, uh, they are throwing cigarette butts on the ground or they dump some trash out of the back of a truck or something. Well, if it's still in their yard and if you can point to it, you can take your finger and point to it, like I'm pointing with this pointer here, and say, that's where it's coming from. That would be called point source pollution because you can point to where it's coming from. It's easy to monitor, it's easy to regulate, it's right there, that's where it's coming from, okay? Same thing here. If uh, somebody at letter B was putting a lot of fertilizer in their front yard and that fertilizer um, was a little bit too much and the ground can't soak it all up, well, you can point to them and say, ooh, that person is pouring way too much fertilizer into their yard. That's point source pollution. But let's say it rains. A bunch of rain falls on house A and house B. Okay. Well, that rain is going to pick up this oil. It's going to pick up these cigarette butts. It's going to pick up this fertilizer. And that runoff is going to make the uh, pollution go down to the ditch. And once it's in the ditch, it'll join other pollution from these houses over here and these houses over here. And that pollution will all run off downstream. Okay, It's going to run off this way. The pollution from over here is going to run off down this way as well. So let's say you are a um, somebody testing water quality from the city. And so you are over here at point C. And you take some water quality tests. And in those tests, you find oil. And you find fertilizer. And you find cigarette butts. Well, at that point, when you're sitting here picking it out of the water at point C, you don't know where it came from. Okay? You don't know that, ooh, this is a cigarette butt from house A, or this is fertilizer from house B. Since you don't know where it came from, since it could have come from anywhere upstream, now it's called non-point source pollution. You can't point to where it's coming from anymore. It's just there now. So non-point source pollution washes downstream, it mixes with each other, you don't know exactly where it came from.